Hey what is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kyle and today I'll be showing you all my OBS settings which I personally think are very good for recording gameplay videos. I have a really good computer, I have a 1080 graphics card so I can already pretty much run most games on max graphics so you want to be able to get the max quality but you also don't want to lose that FPS because you want smooth gameplay with your videos. So you gotta find a balance between smoothness and graphics while at the same time having it not affect what you're used to. Because if the game feels differently because you're on a lower FPS because you're recording, you might not do as good in those recordings as you do when you're not recording. And these settings really don't affect the game at all for me, but of course it will vary per system and you might have to edit a couple of the settings on your own. So we're just gonna open up the settings menu here. Pretty sure these are just all default and none of these really matter anyway. You can change the theme to dark if you would like, but I like just keeping it on default. We'll not be covering any streaming settings, so we're just going to skip that tab here and just go on to output. We're going to change the output mode to advanced and go to the recording tab. From here we're going to leave the type on standard and we're going to set our recording path. This is where your file is going to go once you have finished a recording. You want to generate file name off, you want the recording format to be mp4. Now these audio tracks here, these are for me because I like to be able to have all of my recordings on three different tracks. My first track video, my second track microphone, and my third track desktop audio. So that is how this is set up. I'm not, I can't really go into detail, but I can just show you. So every one of your tracks are going to include on track one. But then my microphone, I want to be on different tracks my desktop audio, so my microphone is tracks 1 and 2, and my desktop audio is tracks 1 and 3. Now keep in mind, how you have to open it with a video editing software to actually see if these different tracks work, because in Windows Media Player, you only can play like two tracks, and for me those tracks are the video and the desktop audio. So make sure you open it up in like Sony Vegas. Because I have an NVIDIA graphics card, I have this NVIDIA H264 encoder. If you have an AMD encoder, it'll pop up here, and if you for some reason have neither, then just use X264. I don't need to rescale the output because I don't have to worry about the file size, but if you, you don't use Handbrake for some reason and you want to have it go out to 720p, then you can do that. But if you do this because you need to you need to lessen the file size, make sure to go and check out my handbrake video because I show the best settings for that. It lowers the file size up to 90% without losing any quality at all. So then here, there's a couple options you can do here. You can use CQP and set it to 18, or you can use CBR. I don't know what CQP means, but I know CBR means constant bitrate. If you have a higher end computer, you can use 50,000, and if you have a lower end computer, you can you should use 40,000. I should be on 50,000, but I just stick on 40,000, so you all can just use 40,000. Um, if you have really an over top, like two graphics cards, or like a Titan, you should definitely push for that 50,000 bit rate. Keyframe interval is going to be set to zero. The preset is default, your profile, main, and your level, auto, and I use two-pass encoding and set B-frames to two. Over in the audio tab, you're just going to set your audio bitrate. I just use 160 because it's the default it was on. You're going to want to set the sample rate of your microphone, which you can find that out by right-clicking the sound icon and clicking recording devices. This is my microphone right here. We're going to go to properties, we're going to go to advanced, and whatever this is set at is what you're going to want to use. Now mine, when I plug it in, is at the 44100, but I, I pushed it up to 48000 because that's just the highest I could do and it sounds better. Desktop audio device, you usually should be able to set this to default, but sometimes I have to actually select my headset. Then desktop audio device 2 is not needed. Mic slash auxiliary, just select your microphone, and the others you can just leave disabled. Under the video tab, you're just going to want to... so. Let me explain what these two. So the base canvas resolution, you want to set to your monitor or screen resolution. And your output is the same as this output right here. So if you want to do like 720, then you want to select that. I use Lanzos because it just makes it look the best and 60 FPS. 
Hotkeys, I don't like to use hotkeys because I like to be able to actually watch and click the record button instead of relying on a hotkey because sometimes they won't work. You can like click it and you don't really know if it actually started but by actually clicking it and watching it change from start recording to stop recording, you really know that it has started. On the advanced tab, this is kind of important. Set your process priority to above normal and everything else here should be default. If it's not, you can just copy it. If you're playing CSGO, I highly recommend you set the CSGO priority to high because CSGO is the worst game you can really record and it can really drop down like 100 FPS at times. Like just changing one setting to make it from constant 300 to just down to 100 for no reason at all. Some people like to do 709 in full color range, but I don't see any difference in doing that and it's actually made my videos look worse before. Are you sure about that? And I just want to point this out. So I use Game Capture because it is the best capture device that you can use that won't take the most amount of FPS. But if your Game Capture doesn't work, I'm pretty sure you should then go to Display Capture and then go to Windowed Capture. Pretty sure like that's the order from like for the best performance. And I have it. I have this image overlay right here. So because this you have to physically set the application so when the application is offline this obviously isn't here and so instead of it being black I made this little thing here with my YouTube banner. So these are my OBS version 19.0.2 OBS settings and I will see you all in my next video.